dear learners welcome back to my lecture videos today we will be discussing on the topic of genetic organization of eukaryotes and prokaryotes for giving you a brief idea i have given the picture of the eukaryote and prokaryote cell on the cover slide let's move into the topic you can see here that these are two distinct types of cells with structural differences the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell usually contains bacteria whereas the eukaryote cells contains animals and plants here you can see that i have given you the detailed structure of a prokaryotic cell and one eukaryotic cell so let us discuss their composition one by one see both of them contains the plasma membrane cytoplasm is there in both of them they do contain the dna that is the genetic material but the genetic material is present in nucleoid region in case of prokaryotic cell whereas it is present in the nucleus in the eukaryotic cell both of them contains the ribosomes let's come here see the size of the prokaryotic cell ranges from 0.1 to 10 micrometer whereas the size of the eukaryotic cell is ranging from 100 to 10 to 100 micrometer so this is the main difference the nucleoid nucleus and the size let's go into the detail of the prokaryote cell it is a single celled organism that does not have a nucleus as we have already discussed in the earlier slide what are the traits of prokaryotes that they do not have nucleus and their genetic material is not stored in the nucleus rather they are stored in the nucleoid they have some organelles but not many they are less complicated than the eukaryotes all bacteria are prokaryotic let us go into the detail of the prokaryotic genome genome that is the entire hereditary information of an organism encoded either in dna or rna the name genome was given by hans winkler in the year 1920 there are four types of genome viral prokaryotic mitochondrial and eukaryotic genome so for prokaryotic genome we can see that it is circular it is double stranded piece of dna it is also referred to as nucleoid and the length varies widely but is generally few million base pairs nucleoid is composed of 60 percent dna and some small amounts of rna and protein the nucleoid proteins help to maintain the super coiled structure of dna dna supercoiling. what does it mean it refers to over or underwinding of a dna strand it is important for dna packing within all the cells there are two structures that is toroid and plectoneme in prokaryotes plectonemic supercoils are predominant because of circular dna and small amount of the genetic material here you can see that plectonemic supercoils these are the curved dna toroidal supercoil rna rna polymerase okay okay learners now we'll focus on eukaryote cell it is a more complex cell more complex cell within a nucleus and many organelles traits of eukaryotes are that they all have a nucleus where the genetic material of the cell is stored in case of prokaryotic it was stored in the nucleoid in here they have a intact nucleus they have many organelles that work together to help the cell function this is a detailed structure of eukaryotic cells it contains the endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes are there nucleus very intact nucleus is there there are free ribosomes mitochondria that is the powerhouse of the cell that is there and the outer cell membrane is also there if we go into the details of eukaryotic genome we will see that saccharomyces cerevisiae was the first eukaryote to have com the complete genome sequence determined genome is in the form of nucleoprotein complex that is called as chromatin the chromatin the composition of the chromatin please pay attention the composition of chromatin is 35 percent dna 60 percent proteins and 5 percent rna and it is dispersed in the nucleus matrix in form of network of chromatin threads 
information in the DNA is read by using histones and non-histones. That is also associated with the gene regulation. Now, what are histones? Histones are main structural protein in eukaryotes. What is the function of histone? It has a positively charged amino acids which helps histones to bind to DNA and help in packing of DNA molecule. The nucleosome has octamer of histones such as H2A, H2B, H3, H4 and a strand of DNA which is having 146 base pair wrapped tightly. DNA strand linking one nucleosome to another is called as linker DNA. Histone also has one protein that is associated with the linker DNA. The nucleosome model was proposed by R. D. Kornberg and J. O. Thompson in 1974 to explain the chromatin structure. Here you can see the diagram of nucleosome remodeling complex. Now here I have given you a comparative analysis of prokaryotic and eukaryotic. So we are going to have a look into the difference between them. Prokaryotic genome is having they are small in size but eukaryotic genome is larger than prokaryotic genome. They contain single circular chromosome. These contains multiple linear chromosome. They are haploid. They are diploid. DNA is not associated with histones. In case of eukaryotic, DNA is associated with histones. They are condensed in nucleoid via DNA supercoiling and they are condensed in membrane bound nucleus via histones. So I hope the concept of genetic material of prokaryotic and eukaryotic is clear to you. Thank you for listening to me.